Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And I'm back with another Pandora haul. So today I'm going to be showing you what I picked up on the Black Friday, Cyber Monday holiday sale. So all these pieces were on sale at different times over the week. I actually went to my local store to pick them up um, because I was specifically after this Pandora Me Pearl Bracelet and I wanted to see the sizing. So I went to my local store, which for me is about 40 minutes away. It's not super local. Um, and they were having a 50% off sale of several things, including this bracelet, which was only 20% off online for the Black Friday sale. So I don't know what I did to deserve that, but I was very, very, very excited. So ah. Either way, I picked up this bracelet and three charms, including a Christmas gift for my mom. So mom, if you're watching this, stop. Or you spoiled your own surprise and you deserve it. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the boxes. We're going to show you all three charms and my new bracelet. And uh, I don't even know, I'm so excited. So typically I do the unboxing for y'all. Like I don't take anything out. I don't sh like do anything until I've shown y'all. I could not, especially since I went to my local store and the pieces were right in front of me. I have already put my two charms that I got on my bracelets and have been wearing them. So this is not as unboxing of an unboxing as normal, but bear with me. Let's get right into it. All right. So first up on the list here is my new bracelet. So this is the Pearl Pandora Me Bracelet. These are freshwater cultivated pearls, I believe. And it is beautiful. You can see it has these little loops on either side where the links connect. It has the hallmarks on our carabiner here. Let me show you that. There we go. And it is just a beautiful bracelet. So the main point of this Pandora Me line is that it has these links. So this specific one, specific one, has three links that open one, two, and the carabiner makes three. And when they open, that is A, how you're going to put your bracelet on and off. That's also how you're going to add your charms. So technically you could put a charm on all three of these links. The Pandora Me charms are much smaller and more delicate. Um, but as you can see, these larger charms, now this is not a Pandora charm. I wouldn't put this on a snake bracelet, although it is non-threaded, it is not going to hurt your bracelet, but this is a special charm that I bought in Santorini, Greece. It is the only exception I've made for a non-Pandora themed bracelet charm, and I really wanted to showcase it. So I have put it on this carabiner clasp, I'm going to get, like I said, that heart opener, and then it will have even more space. But this carabiner does have enough space to thread even these larger bailed charms onto. Now, obviously, they do not fit 100% the way they would on a bracelet, but I still think that's really cute, and it looks so sweet stacked with my other travel bracelets. So this is how I am currently wearing this one. Like I said, though, I think I'm going to try switching out that opalescent snowman charm, maybe for the holidays, stacking him with my Christmas bracelets. Either way, I really liked this guy. He was 184 full price. So 50% off and I got this guy for about $90, which I thought was worth it. 
super worth it. The only thing that I would pay more for is if you could get it with all of these links being rose gold. Now I could uh, switch out the links. Of course, that is half the point of Pandora Me is you can purchase new links. And I could switch out 90% of the links except for this one on the end here is not an opening link. And so it does not come off. I could not switch this out for a rose gold link. And of course the end caps have to remain silver. Since my travel bracelet is two toned, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I just wanna add that rose gold heart and I think it will be the perfect compromise. But I don't know. I, I really think I would like it with all rose gold links. In order to do that, I would have to take it and have this link cut off. I am not 100% sure that that is something I want to do. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that unless that becomes something I like to do. But for now, that is my new bracelet and I love it. I'm going to show you guys a close-up um, spotlight video on this bracelet on how I'm styling it with the rest of my bracelets and my travel stack. If you want to check that out, I will leave the link below. But in the meantime, let's get into the other three charms that I bought. So the first one is Black Widow. I was not sure I wanted this charm. I'm not a huge fan of the character charms, but it says actually I can on it. How cute is that? Black Widow is one of my favorite characters. I really liked that it had a little bit of black on it because I've been needing more black on this bracelet with my Spider-Man uh, camera. And when she was 50% off for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I just couldn't give it up. I believe she has been last chance for a while now. So I think they are discontinuing her. She has this fun like ombre effect on her hair like she did in Endgame. She's holding her batons. She's got that X on her uniform for the Black Widow outfit. And she is a very pretty charm. She has all her hallmarks here, A-L-E, S925. And on the other side, it says Pandora Marvel. I have her on, of course, my Avengers bracelet. That does not want to participate at the moment. Um, and so I have the only character beads I have on here are Star-Lord and Spider-Man. Because, again, I'm just not a fan of the faces. Both of these have masks. So I think that's why I like them. I have big plans for this bracelet. But the Marvel charms are so expensive. And they might be worth it. But I tend to not gravitate towards those $90, $100 charms. So when this girl was Black Friday 50% off, she had to come home with me. I definitely like it. I like her like her a lot more in person. All right, next up, a sneak peek at my travel, updated travel bracelet. The next charm I purchased was this little scooter. So I have been wanting this scooter for a while. If you saw the video I shot in Italy, in Rome at that store, I almost bought it there because I just want it so bad. It's got that heart on the bottom. I love that it's pink. I wanted to actually put it on my pink travel bracelet, but oh, Pandora it has a license plate for Pandora, but I needed another dangle on here. And I like that it balanced out the pink of, where is it? Oh, my cherry blossom here. So I may leave it on this bracelet. We'll see. I tend to not put non-exclusives on this bracelet or if they are non-exclusives, like the Cherry Blossom, they are for a specific place. That one is for um, my trip to Giverny in France. So this one being a non-exclusive, look, it has a little CZ for the headlight, and not for a specific place other than Italy, 
Um, I don't know that it will stay on this bracelet, but I'm enjoying it for now. And if I find something different, I will switch it out and put it on. I have an all pink travel bracelet that's more generic charms. It's on an open bangle. It's a smaller design. So there you go. Let's see. I think the bail is clear on that side and it just has the ALE 925 on the other side with the Pandora it has the license plate. So there you go. Ah, I love it. Last but not least, I was very sad to find this charm and they only had one. But if you know anything about cruises, well, maybe not, um, there is this whole thing called the cruising ducks. It is not an official thing. It is just something passengers do where they bring rubber ducks on the ship and they hide them. And it's like a big hide and seek thing. And my mom loves it. It is one of her favorite things to do. We will literally hunt for ducks for hours on our trips and she will bring ducks to hide. And so I have been searching for this little rubber ducky for her, for her cruise charm bracelet for a while, but he is retired. And so when I found him and he was 50% off, I had to get him. He is going to be one of her Christmas presents. And I am only sad that they did not have two because I would have liked to get him for my bracelet as well. But if I keep looking, I'm sure I'll find another one someday. I was not specifically looking for him today, but it was like $18 on sale. How could you not? She's going to love him. I will try to get a reaction of her opening this guy because that would be so much fun. Uh, all right, I'm going to pack him back up because he is a Christmas present. And I want him to look super cute. for her to open on Christmas morning. All right, say goodbye, ducky. And that is it. Everything I purchased on this year's Black Friday sale from Pandora. And unlike most videos, I have no restraint and I'm already wearing mine, but you know what? That's how you know I really liked it. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. If you did, I will see you in the next one. Bye.